yes, Tony Thumper. What a character indeed. Isn't he like the best Trackmaster model ever? Actually, Tons, Tommy Thumper is small and shouldn't exist. Hello, my name, as you probably know, is James is here, and today I'm here. Why do you have to put that in the script? So let's get started. The Tommy model is, as you can see, small, and rather detailed for its size. However, when you compare it to its television series prop, you begin to realize it's not that glamorous. Because he's so small, he's missing a lot of the details. For instance, at the front, the grill thing is uncolored, and his arms are genuinely tiny. No wonder they snap off so easily. On the positive side, the caterpillar treads are colored in, the face looks decent, and he slightly resembles the thumper from the show. Wooden Railway did it way better! That's probably all I have to say before Tons murders me, so subscribe to me and goodbye. So Thumper, as uh, James is here said, is absolutely tiny. I mean, here are some measurements of him. Credit to the wonderful Muddy Poppins. And you'd have thought uh, they'd never released this guy on his own, and that is correct. They released him in a set which is called the Thumper at Boulder Mountain Scenery Set, based off the episode Rusty and the Boulder, which was his only appearance. Ever. But basically the tiny, tiny Thumper came in this set and basically, unlike the last video which I made a video about Thumper, I now have video of this set working, so I'll play that for you right now. Those golden Tomy eras when the uh, products could actually do something. I mean, basically, in case you didn't quite understand, an engine would come along and power Thumper to turn around, crashing into the walls of the cave, which made Boulder on top shake from side to side. He did not fall off, though, which is interesting. There is nowhere to for him to fall onto, though, either, to be honest. And he can't cause that same destruction as he did in the episode for obvious reasons. And another thing which I'd like to point out is that I think that there were two thumpers made. I will let Muddy Poppins, the proud owner of two thumpers, explain this interesting theory. Sometimes you'll see him dark gray face. Sometimes you'll see him. This one's brand new, so we know that that's how they come. And I don't know if that's smoke damage or if they just changed his color of his face at some point during production. I may actually be able to potentially certify that. So let me get into this. As you can see, this image is actually from a channel called The Bluegrass Orchard. They've got a lot of Trackmaster stuff, and unfortunately they are not active anymore, but we've still got this screenshot. Basically, there's like one, two, three, four, five thumpers there, and one of them, or two even, I should say, at the back and second, have got that dark gray face why so I think that they may have actually changed it in production there is absolutely no reason why they would have done it but I guess that's just one of the things they changed hmm, funny that but once again I'm not saying that this is certified it's just an idea still though on his promotional image on the box it does show him with a whiter sort of face so I guess that that's the canon one if you know what I mean secondly I do actually own this uh, this thump and new in box as you can see by the image and I won't take him out because of, you know, new in box reasons. So let's take a look at Muddy Poppins analyzing his. There he is. And he's super duper tiny. He fits in my hand like that. He's very small and very delicate. Um, yes, indeed. And now Muddy's going to show like images of him from the sides. I will show the measurements up on screen as well, so it can be understandable how small this guy really is. Just adorable. I should probably also mention that he has got a screw in his cab. I'm not exactly really sure what it's for. I mean, if you take him apart, there's no battery in there, so I'm, I am guess I just don't really know. And actually in his video, Muddy Poppins explains why he didn't sell well. So let's take a look at that, because I am fascinated. Three reasons I think why he didn't sell very good, and that is the feature that it not comes gonna with. Not gonna lie, the Boulder Mountain destination itself is a pretty cool one. Not gonna lie. Three reasons why I think he didn't sell very well. First, when he breaks, 
If you ever go after a thumper or see one, check his arms because they break. This one's been repaired. Somebody repaired this how I got him uh, with some sort of red glue to reattach his arm. So number one, they break. And the reason they break is in this I mean, feature. I've got to put this in, but the Toby track is blue and this thing's yellow. I don't know if it really lines up well. He sits in there. Please focus for me. Thank you. He sits in there like this. And as Thomas rolls in and spins that, he he slams his little arms on the sides of this cave to, to trigger boulders to fall that sits right here. And he just <laughs> bangs his arms till they break. And uh, that's no fun. Nobody wants a toy that's gonna break. Number two, um, he's not really very, there's not really a whole lot of playability with this. He doesn't roll. He doesn't do much, and you can't really touch him. The other thing is, is the way he sits in there, and I'll show you the box again. And look at that. As far as... Uh, that doesn't look I very I mean, he's fun. got such a good point. Who wants to see this on their box? What's that? A stock standard Thomas? Why not? We're not going to put the star of the episode Rusty into it. We're just going to put in a stock standard Thomas. What's that? You don't want to see Thumper on the box? Well, here you go. Here's his back. Why ever not? Nobody cares. All the same, for the last chapter of this video, I would like to take a look at the box packaging and the promotional images on it, which could technically be interpreted as prototypes. So let's take a look at that. Even though there is a stock standard Thomas on the box and Thumper is facing inwards, there is a nice large section which shows you, look, there's a Thumper in here. Bye, bye, bye. And then, of course, they trick you into thinking that this guy's like, you know, as big as Thomas, but actually he's absolutely tiny. <laughs> Marketing, isn't that right? Apart from that, the colors look really nice. It's actually a really nice cover. Let's take a look at the side of the box. Now, I do not doubt the power of Tommy and their amazing marketing skills, but seriously, on this box, the only thing which, like, you can really see is Boulder. And is that the best thing show? Isn't Thumper the, and Boulder Mountain scenery said, doesn't he come first? Why can't you even see Thumper? It's it's just all terror. I, I don't understand. On the front you showed Thumper, why can't you do it again? I just really don't understand what was the deal with this. Was this like super rushed so they could get their Magic Railroad products in in the same year? I don't know. This is a very interesting item. However, I do believe that the back has something a bit more pleasant. Disclaimer, I don't know how to speak Japanese. Now that we've got that out of the way, this actually looks, there's no thumper on there. However, it does look more interesting. You've got a track layout, which, you know, grabs the kids' attention. Oh, you can build this with it. Then you've got a lovely picture of a lot of other items which they can buy. Good marketing once again. And then you've got this interesting CG version of this set showing how it works, which is super helpful. I would assume that there is a manual inside. However, on the box, so parents can go, oh, this seems like a fun toy I can buy for my kid. It actually works really, really nicely. Secondly, CGI Thumper confirmed. And now the bottom and the top of the box. Actually, this is interesting. I mean, you've got Thumper moving about still in the cave. You've got Boulder moving about. You've got Thomas there. Quite a bit of nice action, but not too extravagant. All in all, I think that this boxing is actually a lot better than I thought it would be with all the Thumper in the cave and stuff. However, all they needed to see was the front of the box, and that's really the thing which caught their attention. And by gosh, did Tommy do a good job of that. Anyway, uh, let's quickly take a look at this prototype before this video gets way too long. So let's get into the prototype which was featured on the box. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, Boulder Mountain is actually very, very white in this image and it seems to be a couple of different shapes in it. And Boulder is a grey in this version whilst he's a bit browner in the final one and also the, you know, track thing, the part where Thomas goes along and stops, is a lot, you know, damper, sort of you know, not as colourful or bright is in the final version. And the last thing I want to say is that Thumper appears to be on some sort of wheels or something which is lifting him off the ground whilst on the final one he's very close down to it. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.